Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing a five minute kit review on this, the Outkit Cloud Base Sleeping Mat or Pad. If you are new to the channel please do consider subscribing and don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video. Okay let's get straight into the review. So this is the Outkit Cloud Base Sleeping Mat and I've used this several times and most recently on a wild camp on the top of Pendle Hill. If you haven't watched that video, then I'll put a link up there and you can have a watch of that. Let's just say it doesn't quite go to plan. I didn't sleep very well. Um, I think it's a massive, massive learning curve that for me. I did use this with the Outkit EZ Sleeper, which is a closed cell foam sort of folding mat with a silver back to it. to reflect the heat and I uh, I didn't find any cold spots with this but I didn't think it was that comfy. Uh, I'm a side sleeper and uh, yeah when I'm on my side I was, it just wasn't comfy for me at all. The five centimetres just wasn't quite enough. It does pack down very small um, I'll put the measurements up on the screen and it's very quick to deflate which is really good. And as you can see, it's not too bulky. So the cloud-based sleeping mat is currently listed on the Outkit website at 54.99. It weighs 420 grams and is five centimeters thick. And the dimensions are 189 by 56 by five centimeters. And the pack size is seven by 30 centimeters. It has a very simple valve with just the one cover and there's a little rubber flap that stops the air from coming out when you're inflating it. And when you're ready to deflate, you just push in the little rubber flap and all the air rushes out. So it's made from robust 95% recycled 20D nylon ripstop fabric and has an R value of 1.4 and it's made in China. Ideally, you should use a pump sack or a uh, electric pump. I've got neither of those and I've already noticed that there is some moisture starting to build up inside the sleeping pad, which isn't great. Another thing I noticed about the mat is the position of the valve. Um, where, it, where the mat tapers down to the end, which is your foot end, that's where the valve is. So if you've got this inside a bivy bag, which I did at the time on my Pendle Hill Wild Camp, if you wanted to quickly deflate the mat and then roll the bivy bag, sleeping bag and the mat all together up just for speed and shove it straight in your rucksack, you'd struggle to do that because the valve is at the foot end, right at the bottom of your bivy bag. Ideally, I would have preferred the valve to be at the head end uh, and that would have made life a lot easier if you want to quickly deflate the, uh, the, the pad inside the bivy bag. I actually weighed it at 431 grams including the bag, 417 excluding the bag and the pack size was 8 to 9 centimetres by 30 centimetres depending on how tight you roll it up. So there you go, that's my 5 minute review of the Outkit Cloud Base Sleeping Pad. It's a good mat, uh, it's lightweight, it's compact, easy to deflate but for me, it just isn't quite comfy enough at five centimetres. I think I'm gonna to have to look for a thicker mat uh, and maybe a thermal one as well. So I hope you found that video of use. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video. Okay, well, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.